Hi guys, it's Frisian Feather Studios, and I just thought that I would do a Briarfest loot or haul video because I just got back from Briarfest and I decided to share with everybody what I got because I did it last year and I never post on this account, so why not? I am going to be starting with horses that I brought to the park to get signed. So I already own these guys, I just brought them along with me to Lexington to get signed. And so I have Empress on the Eshquar mold, got him signed. And also, in case you think their eyes look different, they do because they had scary ant eyes. So I decided to repaint them to look more realistic. There's also a halter I made him, and so he got signed and I absolutely loved the real horse. And then we have Easy to Spot. Who I got signed right there by Devin. And this pony in real life was absolutely adorable. I loved meeting him. I got a really cute picture with him. So I'm really happy that I was able to get this guy signed. And then last but not least for the horses I already brought. I got uh, my Harley signed. My belly there in silver. And I got a picture with him but not a great one. Just because I tried to get my horse signed on Friday. Yeah. And he was dehydrated and he had an IV in so they couldn't bring him out. So I didn't get a like an outside picture, but that's okay. Cause I'm still really happy that his owner was nice enough to come sign. Okay, and now we have my park and clarion loot from both Friday and Saturday. I didn't go Sunday. And so, yeah, I'm going to show you guys. So obviously I got brass hat. I ended up getting two of them. But I only got one signed, which is this one, on his belly. He's pretty nice. I like the shading a lot. The eyes are a little plain, but that's okay. I, I love the horse, too. And so with this one, since I had two, I own a bay off the track thoroughbred in real life. So I decided to just paint him into my horse. So I added a little sock, gave him a blanket and halter that I customized, and so now it's my horse whose name's Odie. And I'm really excited about this. Like, I thought that was a really cute idea. And then for my first special run time, I didn't get a really good spot, but I did end up getting this guy, which I really wanted. He's absolutely beautiful. I feel like he was completely underrated. He has great shading, he's super glossy, he has really cute, nice dapples, and just, oh, he's super cute. Next I was able to run into the store super quick and I got a glossy foiled again, who is a store special. I was able to get him signed, which I was super pumped about, got my picture with him, and I was able to hand pick mine because no one was really in the store at that time for some reason, so mine doesn't really have any flaws. He's super dark, like his head's really darkly shaded. He's just really nice. He's definitely one of my favorites from this weekend. And then at one of the vendors, I, I never shop at the vendors, but I was able to see this girl on one of the left side vendors. It is the 2006 Treasure Hunt prize model. Uh, like back with the lady phases and the most common prize was the Wedgwood. But this was one of the extra prizes you could get. She's limited to 240 made, I think. And she's flawless. She's absolutely beautiful. I love her. And I got her for a really, really, really good price. So I'm really excited about this girl. And then for my surprise horse... I ended up with the matte black Dark Horse Surprise. I originally opened the bay paint, but I wasn't really planning on keeping my Dark Horse at all. And this little girl right in front of me, she opened this guy up and she was like, this was the one color I didn't want. And so I felt really bad and I was like, if you want to trade, we can. And she was really excited, so we traded and after looking this guy over, I actually really really like him because he's he's in really good condition and he's just he's really pretty so I may keep him I may sell him I'm not exactly sure yet but for right now until they release the numbers he's gonna be staying here okay 
And moving on, this was my first horse at the Clarion that I got. I got Harley D Zip because uh, I was replacing mine because I customized mine a long time ago and really regretted it. So I got another one from Doodle Horses on Instagram. I got to hang out with her and get pictures with her and I absolutely love her. And so I got this guy. He's a lot lighter than the one I had, which I really like about him. And then I got Rialto. I had a pickup set up for this guy. I did time payments on him. I paid half for him like a month before Briarfest and then the rest of the half in person. And I'm absolutely obsessed. As you can see, he's one of the ones with a lot of pinking and a lot of freckles, which I was really excited about. And this was the horse I really wanted to come home with. So I'm really excited about this guy. And then I got Lady C, who was a 2013, yeah, <laughs> store special at Briarfest. And I got her from Howling Wolf Studios, I think, on Instagram. I hope I got that right. I'm sorry if I didn't, but she's gorgeous. They ran out at 2013 before I could get her. And I've been wanting her, and I finally got one from her for a really good price, so I'm really excited about that. And then I got a Pim from the Julep and Pim set. I don't have Julep anymore, because um, I don't like the mold, so I opened- I literally got the set just for the full. And I currently have Julep on eBay for list price for sale, so... I don't have her, but this baby is so cute. Like, I love her. Little little face. And one blue eye, one brown. She's just super cute. I really like her and I really recommend her. And then I got By a Nose, who is probably the most popular special run from this year. More popular than the Dark Horse Surprises. She sold out first every single time. Oh yeah, and it is a mare, just so you know. <laughs> um, but I actually never got this girl on my own. I ended up trading with a good friend of mine on Instagram who I don't remember her name. I'll have it in my, uh, description below, but she traded my Appy Dark Horse Surprise for this girl. And I really appreciate that. Like, oh, I was so upset when I didn't get her. So it really meant a lot that she was able to trade with me. And then my last Clarion horse that I bought was Arosa. I really wanted an Arosa and I had put on a Facebook group that I was looking to get her. Or him, sorry. <laughs> and someone actually answered and was like, oh, I have one. And so I scrambled to the room and uh, got him and I was able to talk them down $50. So I got him for a pretty good price, which I was really surprised about. He's super pretty. He's a web special from 2012, limited to, I believe, 255 made. And he's super glossy, super nice, and I'm just really happy to have this guy. Also, really quick, I just want to say that I got this cute little cow for free from Black Mare Studios on Instagram. She's so nice and funny to talk to. I happened to stumble in her room, we got to talking, and she was just like, Please take the baby moo. So, oh, he didn't fall. He just did a twist. <laughs> but, so I got this little guy for free. He's super cute. I was super excited about that. And I really appreciate her, her generosity for that. And then we're going to go with the little stable mates from this year. I got three of them. And then the Garland Gift Shop one. I got Ruffian. Just because, oh, focus camera. There we go. She's a cute little star. She's super glossy, super nice condition. I really like her. And then we have Mana War, who's absolutely gorgeous. Now I have all the Mana Wars in all scales. I have traditional, classic, and now stablemate. Super glossy, super cute. Really like him. He's probably my favorite one. And then I got Silver Charm, just because I absolutely am in love with the real horse. This guy's not as glossy, he's kind of like a semi-shimmer glossy thing, but he has a lot of cute, really, like, cute flea bites, and I really, I really like him. I enjoy him. And then, this is, 
I believe his name's Hands Down. He was the exclusive stablemate from the Garland Gift Shop. You see the little rope from the stablemate, or from the reins. And he comes with a jockey that can't come off. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this guy. I might sell this. Um, because he's not the same kind of plastic as the other stablemates, as those guys. Like, I don't know if you can really tell just from listening, but... He's not as heavy, he's like, it's kind of weird. I don't know. He was cheap, so I picked him up thinking I'd like him, but he, he's just not the greatest quality. And then I picked up a replacement of Esperanza Porcelain from the Spirit Set. I got her from Latigo Kinda Gal, I think is her Instagram. For a really good price and I'm really happy that I was able to replace um, mine because mine if you all see on my Instagram it was super messed up so I'm really happy with this purchase super excited and then in the store I actually got the ornament the tiny uh, mini Brishen stablemate mold turned into a unicorn with lots of glitter that I really like. Mine does have like a little flaw right there on, the, on his back, but I don't really mind. I'm just going to display him with my mini True North. He's super cute. I, I really, really like this horse. I like the purple tones and shading on him. He's really cute. I was really excited when they still had some of these, so I thought they were going to be sold out. And then I got this little guy. I think this is Furlong. He was the plushie for this year. Super cute. I wasn't expecting to like him. But I picked him up and I got 599 out of 1500 And then actually in the Clarion I was able to get a Chiquita. Who was from the 2016 Briarfest. And they sold out of her super fast. Which I was really bummed about. But lo and behold, two years later, I finally got one. For only like $5 more than her original price, so that was really good. I'm super excited to have her, and she is number 412 out of 750. So that is it for my Briarfest 2018 haul. I had a really good time this year. I met a lot of uh, new people and got to hang out with old friends, and I that was a lot of fun for me. And just, I really hope everybody else watching this, if you went, had a really good Briarfest. And thank you all for watching this video.